The third basic protocol is what we would generally call a low responder protocol, a protocol that also employs FSH but uses typically an agonist to create the second effect that agonists have, and that's called a flare-up. In the first five to seven days that a patient takes an agonist, their FSH and LH levels actually skyrocket, so there's more intense stimulation of the ovary from their own hormones. At the same time that they're flaring up, the doctor will have the patient start an FSH-containing compound. And so you get two sources of FSH in these protocols. You get the FSH that you inject, plus you get the FSH that you're forcing your pituitary gland to pour out by taking the agonist. Now, there are different types of flare protocols. There's a standard flare, which is high-dose Lupron. There's a micro flare, which is uh, about one, f uh, one twentieth the dosing of Lupron, and some people really advocate for this. Others advocate for standard flares. And then there are all kinds of modifications of flares uh, in order to uh, augment ovarian response. Some patients will be put on estrogen-containing uh, medications in the month just prior to their flare. Some will be actually put on a GnRH antagonist just prior to their flare. The goal of all of these maneuvers is to synchronize whatever eggs are available so that when the FSH containing product is initiated, everybody's home and can answer the call. And as many eggs are as available will come out.